You know, the last uh, last week or the week before, I think, uh, someone <laughs> someone complained about the uh, the B-roll coffee making, tea making that uh, is present in all of YouTube videos. And my argument was, well, you know, you've got to fill these videos with something. You might get uh, Peter McKinnon spending 10 minutes making uh, a beautiful cup of coffee to me uh, with really terrible video making a cup of tea. So I decided to do something a little bit different this week and, uh, and actually have some single malt scotch. And I think it's a, a much better idea. So uh, unfortunately I don't have a, a decent drinking vessel. So this uh, plastic uh, mug or cup will have to do for now. <laughs> Anyway, I hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, today I've come out to uh, a place called Mossy Maple Grove. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video uh, where I came out to this kind of messy area with lots of maples and moss, and I took an image that I wasn't really that happy with. And it was funny because the, the comments were kind of 50-50. Some people really liked the photograph, and uh, some people just kind of agreed with me that it was pretty messy, but it did have some good qualities to it. Well, I'm camped right here in this little clearing and the photograph that I took is right opposite me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just uh, spend a night here and photograph the same scene over and over again in different light, two or three times, uh, and just see if there's any difference. Now, right now uh, it's late afternoon it's around six o'clock and it's been quite sunny all day, but uh, it's actually starting to cloud over a little bit and it's supposed to be quite stormy tonight. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the light. It might stay flat from now until tomorrow, who knows. The, the one advantage to this week's uh, shooting over the last time I was here is that uh, a lot of the deciduous trees have come out in leaf. So they look just absolutely stunning and even though it looks quite busy still, it's kind of, the leaves have kind of got rid of uh, a lot of that background mess. So I'm gonna take more or less the same shot and I'll try some variations. I am hoping for a little bit more atmosphere in the background, but I really don't think it's gonna happen in overnight here. Uh, unless we get torrential rain and then a bit of sun, that might create some fog, but I just don't see that happening. Right, so as you can see, uh, the, the scene is still very busy because we just have flat light again, but you'll notice there's quite a bit more green this week. I guess that was probably, that was about four weeks ago now that I was out here last, so a lot has happened since then. Uh, I'm gonna give it another go. It's getting quite late now but I still love those branches coming in, but it just needs a little bit of light. So what I'm hoping for tomorrow morning is that we will get a little bit of light and the sun will be coming up behind those mountains in the background. Probably won't come up until quite late, but uh, once the sun comes over those mountains, it should just give these trees some beautiful backlighting. I'm just hoping though that it won't be too much in the background because if we have backlighting on the trees in the foreground and the background, then it could still be really busy. I'm not really sure whether it's just gonna skim these trees in the foreground first and then the ones in the background. I don't know if there's enough distance between the two. I mean, it's an absolutely stunning scene, but like I said, over and over again, it's still a little busy. Now I have noticed that if I concentrate perhaps on just one side, then it might simplify things a little bit. So I'm gonna try that again. Uh, maybe do a vertical of the tree on the, uh, on the right side. That looks really pretty.
And wouldn't you know it, as soon as I'd taken one or two shots, the clouds opened up and it started to rain. So rather than sit in my van, I decided to go for a little drive and see what else I could find down the road. All right, so I've decided to take a bit of a drive and I'm, I'm heading out towards uh, Nitnat Lake. Some of you may recognize this uh, spot. I came out here with uh, Jeremy uh, about a year ago now, except that was in the, I think we came out in the winter. I've never been here in the spring. So it's a secret little spot that I found on the way to Nitnat Lake. And uh, I was a little disappointed because the, the main tree that kind of hangs over the whole creek here has fallen down, which is a real shame. But right now, the light is absolutely beautiful in here. The sun is starting to go down. We have this really warm kind of uh, glowing light in here. So I'm just trying to find a composition. I think I found something here. The only problem that I'm having with it is there's some rocks on the right side and the whole thing looks a little bit off balance to me. We have a log and then the two boulders uh, but then on, on, the, uh, on the left side, there isn't really much to kind of balance it out. If I do a vertical, it doesn't really work either. So I'm going to keep mucking about with this and hopefully I can find a, a decent composition before the light fades. But the, the greens and, the, and the, uh, the warm tones in here are absolutely beautiful. There's even a little bit of storm light back there. We've had rain showers come through here, so you get those really dark blue clouds with that orange kind of glow. Right, I better hurry up before the light goes. folks that's it for this week's short video be sure to tune in on wednesday where i continue my trip looking for mossy goodness around the nitnat lake area on vancouver island if you enjoyed the video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and as always if you enjoy the content of my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button